two walls and ceiling of a room meet at a point P and angles made by them are right angle. A fly is in the air 1 meter from one wall and 8 meters from other wall and the fly is 9 meters from point P. So, how many meters the fly is away from ceiling? This is the question. So, basically we have to apply Pythagoras theorem. The question is very simple provided you understood the layout. So, we will see it here. Let us say the fly is at this point when we will say this point is F. So, from here it is 8 meters and from this wall it is 1 meter. These are two walls and this is ceiling and where the two walls and ceiling are meeting point P. So, from point P the fly is 9 meter. So, since we know this dimension and if this is 1 meter, so this is also going to be 1 meter, so we can work out this hypotenuse. And once we work out this hypotenuse, then if we know this dimension, then we can find out this. And this is going to be our answer, that is distance of fly from the ceiling. So, we will see the solution now. So, initially we will consider this triangle. B, C, F. So, in this triangle, the hypotenuse, this, this one, will be equal to Cf square plus Cb square, Cf is 1, this is 1 meter and Cb is 8. So, when you solve this, you get Bf square as 65. So, we will not uh, simplify this, we will keep this as Bf square only. Now, we have to find out this one Pb square. So, we know that Pf square plus Bf square uh, Pf square is equal to Bf square plus Cb square. So, we put up the values here. Pf is 9, so 9 is square. Bf square is 65, so 65 and Pb square. So, we get value of Pb as 4. That means, fly is 4 meters from ceiling. And if this is 4 meters, then this is also 4 meters actually. So, our answer is option A. Thank <laughs> you.